I showed you how to add blocks in Bricks to our website and I showed you how to use Inspector, Layer Tree, Freehand Controls and Classes to adjust your website to your liking. And in this video we are going to create a simple website from scratch. I will create the new project and right away save it to the desktop. This website will have three pages, home, about and contact. And to view the pages and create the new ones, we can go to page navigator in the left sidebar. And we already have the home page here. So let's press plus and create the about page. And let's do the same for contact page. So now we have three pages. We will go to the home page and we will add some of the blocks. So I will use this one for the banner and I will add some content blocks for the content area. I will add footer to the global footer area and I will add the navigation to the global header area and both of these areas will be the same on all pages. So I will come back to this banner a little bit later. For now, I will go to the About page and add a couple of blocks to this page. And I will go to the Contact page and we can also do that by using this menu here. And for the Contact page, I will just add the form. And let's search for the Contact form and we will be able to add this block here. So let's go back to the home page and now I will manually create the banner. So let's add the header brick H1 and right away I will change the text here to something like welcome. I will select the block and add an image background here. And I might also add the texture overlay because it is too bright for this text. And for the text I will add the custom class. So let's type the Elder title. It will be our title class. And I will go to the third tab here to change the typography settings. Let's make it big, capital letters, white color. I will add some shadow to this text. and I will align it to the center. And when we are ready, I just click done. And now we have our banner, I will make it bigger. And I will go to the about page and create the same structure banner here. I will add the simple structure block. I will change the background image. I will add the same H1 title. I will change the text to about and this time instead of applying all of this style I will just type the name of the class we created. And as you can see it applied all of the changes here. And I want to have the similar one on the contact page as well but instead of creating this from scratch I will just select this block here and duplicate it to contact page. And we can do that by pressing here or using the command D shortcut and it will ask us where we want to save it. I will select contact page and as you can see now we are on the contact page. Let's change the text. Let's change the image. So I think now we have the beautiful banners on all of our pages and I can concentrate on working these elements. So here for the contact page I might adjust some of the margins for the elements, I might add some color to our button, maybe make it smaller and we can go to another page and for about page I will add a few slides to this carousel. Once again, I will use freehand controls to adjust the spacing and the positioning of these elements here. I will apply some color to the text. And as for the images here, 
I will use freehand controls to adjust the style and then I'm going to copy this style here and paste it to all of the other images. And when I do that, Blocks will ask me if I want to set it as a freehand class. So now when I adjust any of these elements using the freehand controls, all of the other elements will be adjusted as well. So this is it for the about page. For the home page, I will also add some images. And yeah, I think I will apply the color to this block as well. And next I will quickly show you how we can change the style for the menu icons or the logo. We can go to project settings and change the default styles. For example, for the navigation links, I will make them bolder, I will make them bigger, and I will set them to be black color, like this. And we can do the same for the logo, for example. Let's make it even bigger. Let's make it other color, let's say red one. And I will make this super bold. So like this. Now we have edited the navigation and if we switch to other pages, you can see that the same navigation and the same header is on all pages. And finally, I will click here to adjust the page settings or I can do that from here as well. And here we usually just type the title of the site and put the SEO description. And of course, I'm not going to do that for this website, so I will just press done. And we usually you should do that for all of the pages, but I will just go to file and export this page. After we export our website, we can go to the desktop and here we have the HTML files. We can open the index.html to preview our website on our local browser. And as you can see, it looks exactly how it was in the blogs app. And of course, to make everything working, for example, this contact form, we will have to go back to blogs and select this form and adjust all of the emails and all of the settings for this form. But in this video, I just wanted to show you the whole workflow of how you can create a website in blocks.